Okay, so here we are. This is Eating Your Feet. My name is Nikki. My best friend Adam has challenged me to make a giant bowl of ramen based off of a viral video. I'm excited. I love ramen. I've never made it before. But how hard can it be? Oh my God, that really is large. It's noodles, ramen broth, a mountain of bean sprouts, and surrounded by fried chicken. That's mostly bean sprouts. He barely even got to the ramen. He didn't finish it. Also here to help me today, she's very good at everything that I'm not good at. My friend Rie. Yay. I'm making ramen. Okay. So I have to make a broth. I have to cook noodles. I have to blanch bean sprouts and I need to make chicken. What's different about Japanese fried chicken? We call it with potato starch instead of flour. Oh. All right, so I'm just gonna give this a shot. See you later. Good luck. I've never made ramen broth. I know it can be quite difficult, but I think I'm gonna find like an easier version of it. Oh, this is in Japanese. I don't know what it says. I think we're just gonna stick to the shoyu ramen. Karage. I also don't think I've made fried chicken on like my own before. I need ramen noodles and I need a lot of bean sprouts. Okay, I can do this for sure, All right, I got a bunch of stuff. And this cow, he's pretty cute. And he's full of jelly. <laughs> a cow bank. It's like jello shots, but for kids. I have to marinate my chicken. This recipe is per three. Ugh. I'm gonna triple this chicken recipe that I have. I'm just gonna start grating some garlic. This is ginger, I knew that. I'm just cutting the skin off of the ginger and then I'm gonna grate it. And I need roughly six tables. <laughs> This grater's too small. Grating it might not be the best idea. I just decided to chop up the ginger instead. My fingers are gonna smell so spicy. It's for a marinade, so it doesn't need to be super crazy pants. Next, I'm gonna do roughly the same amount of garlic. I'm just crushing it so that it breaks open and tossing them in. Why does this one look weird? I'm not gonna use it. Mmm, okay, I think that's good enough. I need nine tablespoons of soy sauce. Oh, <laughs> 10, oh well. <laughs> I just completely spaced out. I forgot my apron. Six tablespoons of sake. Oh, sesame oil. Ugh, <clears throat> oh, that was hard. Three tablespoons of sesame oil. Oh God. Well, sugar. Mmm, looks good. I hope this is enough, because I got a lot of chicken coming in. Oh, chicken gloves. There we go. Oh my God, this is a lot of chicken. Good gravy. Okay, this is enough marinade. That looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge for about an hour and then we'll come back and I'll add potato starch and we'll be ready to fry it all up. Here's the big bowl I got. I think it is large enough, it's bigger than my face. But also I have um, these ice cream sandwiches that I can't put in the freezer anymore, so I'm gonna eat them. Oh! This is really tasty. Yeah. Broth. The recipe calls for regular soy sauce and then a light soy sauce and then salt. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but I'm just gonna do it. There's two tablespoons of soy sauce of both kinds. I'm gonna times that by four. So that's half a cup of soy sauce. Math. This is not efficient. <laughs> oh, this one's even worse. Okay, there's that. This is a lot of salt. Why are we cooking soy sauce? And the rest of it is chicken stock. I mean, this is a lot. I don't know if it's all gonna fit in that bowl. This feels very salty. Yeah, it tastes like chicken bones in water. So I'm just gonna add this to here. It looks like a beef broth. It's not terrible. Pretty good. Yeah. It is very salty. Yeah, this is a little salty, so I'm gonna add some water to it. That's tasty. Broth is done. I still have to do noodles, the beans. But I think we should do chicken next. Looks good. It's been marinating for a while now. Pot of oil for frying. I've never done this before. So I need a cup and a half of potato flour. This is what's gonna make it crispy. This is weird. I need to dredge these a little bit better. So I'm gonna get a bowl and put the rest of my potato starch in there to make sure that these are well covered. I'm gonna do one test chicken. Is this supposed to look like that? There's like this bunch of like white stuff on top. So I don't think we need to dredge it like this. So I'm gonna put these ones back in here and just kind of keep it at this saucy texture and see what happens. Ooh, Bubble City. Hi. We're just getting started with some fried chicken. Yeah, that looks great. So that's way better. So I definitely don't need to be dredging them extra and I'm supposed to like put them back in 
and do a double fry to make them extra crispy, but they look really good. They smell really good. So I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, they smell so good. We can smell the ginger and the soy and the garlic. All right, that's the last of it. I still have to double fry it, but I'm gonna weigh to make sure I have hopefully 1.2 kilograms. 1.4 kilograms! <laughs> so these two are just extras. This is my second fry. It's at a slightly higher temperature. It's gonna be for sure a shorter amount of time. It'll just crisp it up a little bit more. Uh, my fire is not on anymore. I ran out of gas. We got fire! Woo! Oh god, these have been in for so long. Oh man, these are very crispy. It's fine, it's fine. Look at all this chicken. Oh yeah, oh my god. Whoa. I'm gonna cut up the chicken. I'm gonna leave them pretty large. 1.25. That's a lot of chicken. And they're spares. I'm gonna get that hot from my beans. This is what I'm gonna cook my noodles in. And here's my ramen. How much do I need? 800 grams of noodles. Good lord. Ugh. Blarp. This is my broth that's been sitting back here, but I'm taking it off now because I think it's warm enough. I'm gonna get my pasta water heated up. This is 2.27 kilograms. So I'm just gonna go with this and then pile it high and if I need more, I'll make more. Not what this is for. <laughs> Ugh, so beany. This is gonna take forever. Well, look at this ridiculous bowl of beans. Goodbye bean water. This is Le bowl. We got our beans. We got our chicken. We have our noodles and my broth. Oh yeah, that's really salty. <laughs> I think I'm gonna water it down a little bit more because that is pretty salty. That's better. All right, so I'm just gonna start assembling. We'll go broth first. That feels good. I'm gonna pop the noodles in. Here we go. Looking pretty good. I don't think that's supposed to be chewy. Is it boiled? No, it's just very hot. You have to cook the noodle in a boiling water. Love it. You think these noodles are cooked? Come on. Oh, they're all gooey. This is not appetizing looking. Okay, now we bean sprout it. This is what they do. They make a bean sprout mountain. I am very excited about this chicken though. This is a lot of work, just putting it together, not even just like attempting to eat it. Wow, this is like the perfect amount for this bowl. Ta-da! All right, I'm gonna go get Rie, and the only thing left to do is eat all of this. I hope you're hungry. I am, but I cannot finish this. We're gonna do it together. Okay. Okay, at the restaurant, if you finish this in 20 minutes, you get your name on the wall and they pay you. How much? 50,000 yen. 50,000 yen is $500. Let's see how far we get in 20 minutes. Go! Mm. Oh, wow. Isn't that yeah. good? Yeah! What recipe? Tasty doko? Yes. <laughs> There's no way we can finish by ourselves. Mm -hmm. I think it's already watered down. It's not salty. Oh, look, noodles! No! <laughs> I think I understand why that guy was sweating. Oh, wow, yeah, the broth is like nothing now. Mm -hmm. I know, because there's a big sprout. I don't think the three of us could even get through this. Do you want to bring people in? Yeah. Are you guys busy? A bunch of us are eating giant ramen. Yeah. Yes, get in here. Yeah. I made this. Good job, baby. Oh, Thank you. We're 10 minutes, we're halfway, keep going. Oh, here, have a straw for broth. Where's the salt? <laughs> the bean sprouts soaked it all up, all right? Yeah. Oh! It's almost been 20 minutes, we have like two minutes left. I think there's like 10 of us here, but there's still a bowl full of sprouts and noodles. So I don't know how anyone does this. I think I did a pretty good job. I made a broth from scratch, made noodles, I made three pounds of bean sprouts, and one and a half kilos of fried chicken, which is my first time making fried chicken. It was really tasty. Our time's up. We did not win. Tastes like a soy flavored water. <laughs> <laughs> but chicken was great. Oh, yes!